In this video, we're going to cover a downward one to two flow with a throw under the opposite arm. Yeah. <laughs> Previously, we've already done a one to one throw. I suggest before you do this, you click the link in the description, find that video, and look at it. Before you do this, you need to practice that. But I'm going to assume that you've already done that, so let's get to it. We're going to start off with our basic one to two flow. My hand is holding the bottom of the chuck in the positive. It's up over my right shoulder and it goes down and across. If you're left-handed, then you're gonna do the same thing because here we practice everything on both hands. As I'm doing this one to two flow, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on when the chuck gets to the opposite side of my body. When it gets over here, I'm gonna stick my opposite arm out. Normally that hand is kept tight so we don't hit it, but for this, we're gonna stick it out. As we stick it out, it kind of gives me a marker because as the chuck goes, if I don't let go, it's gonna hit my arm. So this is a great way to work on this throw by practicing sticking the arm out. Once we get to here and it gets to that position where it can no longer go, I'm gonna let go. The chuck will fly into the air in front of me and I'll catch it. The goal is to catch it almost right in front of my nose. I don't wanna have to turn, I don't have to reach. I don't wanna have to move my body or move my arm out of the way. And that's where a lot of people fail when they first start doing this is they try to move their arm out of the way or they try to move their body. Keep this still, keep this out. Downward one to two flow, arm goes out, let go, and it lands in front, not off to the side. Once that's happened, I'm gonna practice that 10 out of 10 times. If I can practice that throw 10 out of 10 times without dropping it, I need to do the opposite arm. Same thing, practice on the left side 10 out of 10 times, all right? Now, if you notice what I just did is what we're gonna practice next. I'm gonna now catch it with the opposite hand. So I'm here, nice and flowy, throw it, catch it. Look, it landed on the other arm. Now I continue that downward figure eight, that downward one to two, stick the other arm out, throw it, catch it. And you're gonna continue the flow. So what that'll look like back and forth, throw, catch, throw, catch. Keep the flow going, and then you can do it without stopping. Now you have a downward one to two throw. You can do it with the same arm that catches, or you can do it with the opposite arm that catches. It's up to you. It's a fun little drill. It's something that'll definitely help you with your dexterity and your hand-eye coordination. Would you ever do that to defend yourself? No, that would be the dumbest thing in the world. Don't mug me. <sighs> would it look cool? Yes. <laughs> would it work? No. And that's the whole thing where we're doing this. We're just doing it for fun, hand-eye coordination and dexterity. As always, incorporate this into a little bit of freestyle. You're playing around, you want to add a throw, toss it into the opposite hand or the same hand as you throw. If you want to do the same hand, you can do that. Toss it, grab it, now it's in the opposite hand, okay? Take all the stuff you're working on and incorporating it into smoothing it out and making it all flow and work together. Have fun, enjoy, be safe, keep the martial arts legit.